noswaitha iawn i chi gyd, a chroeso cynnes iawn i chi i'r sesiynau Carlam diwedd ara. Um, heno, mae gennon ni Caitlin Stevens o Ysgol Olchfa sydd yn mynd i fod yn cyflwyno sesiwn Cymraeg a'i liaeth ar lefel tygau. So, a very warm welcome to all of you. Um, tonight, we have Caitlin Stevens from Ysgol Olchfa who will be presenting a session on Welsh second language at GCSE level. Um, the session will last around 45 minutes um, and if you have any questions during the session please use the Q&A section and we'll do our best to answer your questions during tonight's session. You will see that there's a hyperlink in the Q&A in the Q&A section already. If you're happy to leave your name and email address, we would love to keep in touch with you so that we can send you information about any future events. You can click on that link at any time during tonight's session. Today's session will be recorded and the recording and any relevant resources will be uploaded to the ASCOL website under the Carolam Cymru tab. But for now, over to you, Caitlin Stevens. Thank you. Shumai Pawb, Chrysa Noel, a dyma session three um, Cymraeg, Aeliaeth ac Heddi, dyn ni'n canolbwyntio ar amser ferf. So, uh, welcome to session, the third session, session three. And tonight we're going to be focusing on different tenses that we can use in our work. So, uh, this will cover you for your speaking exams and also for the reading and writing papers as well. So, i ddechrau off, nod a session heno ydy, okay, the aims are to revise key structures in the past tense. So we're going to start off by looking at the past tense, so Garfenno. Then we're going to move on to Uramodo, the conditional tense, and look at how to form that and create sentences using the conditional tense. And then we're going to finish off by looking at the future tense. So the majority of the time um, when we're in school or in class, we will use the present tense. So these are extra tenses that will help improve the standard of your work and help improve the accuracy of your Cymraeg. OK, so i ddechrau te, um, task uh, dawel i ddechrau, cyfieithwch translate. So we've got a short paragraph here, um, which has been written uh, on the whole in the past tense. So what I would like you to do is I would just like you to translate the parts that are in bold and underlined um, so that you can get a feel for the past tense structures. OK, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try and note these down for me. Um, just the parts that are underlined, so AC, Roy the Tawith Un, Roy Him, Buitaisi, Avaisi, Huareyaisi, Noviaisi, Roy the Ninhapis, Akesi. Okay, can you translate those phrases, those uh, sentence structures into Cymraeg? Um, if you do uh, manage to do that quite quickly and with, um, with ease, then you can try and put those into the third person as well. See if you can challenge yourself to do that. So I'm going to give you two minutes to try and translate those structures into um, into English. OK, Bantachi. just remember I see on the end means I did something. So uh, off you go then. Two minutes starts now. So I'm just going to read this now while you're working on that. I'm just going to read this out to you so you can hear the pronunciation of the text as well. OK, so it says. Ar fyngwyliau, AC i Bortugal. Aethon ni am wythnos ym mis Gorffennaf. Roedd y tywydd yn boeth, ond roedd hi'n wyntog yn y nos. Yn ystod yr wythnos, bwytais i, paella, paella, a llawer o hyf yn ia, ac y faes i ffantalem yn bob dydd, blasus iawn. Bob prynhawn, chwreiais i bêl foli ar y traeth gyda fy ffrindiau newydd, ac a dweud y gwir roedd hi'n fendigedig. Ar ôl chwarae ar y traeth, nofiau si yn y môr glas, achos dwi wrth y modd y nofio. Roedd yn un hapus yn ymlacio yn y nos, ond ces i amser da yn y disgo ar nos sadwrn. OK, so it's all about a recent holiday to Portugal. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through these structures. So we've got AC, AC i Portugal, so something Portugal. So AC, I went. OK, so on my holiday, I went AC in Portugal. Uh, the next structure, roedd y tywydd yn. Now, if you see roedd, you should know that that means was. OK, so was uh, roedd. Roedd y tywydd yn, so the weather was boeth hot. OK, so once again, we've got that word roedd, so we need to associate that with was. Roedd hi'n wyntog, it was. 
um, windy roedd hi'n it was. OK, so AC, I went. Roedd the tywydd yn, the weather was. Roedd hi'n it was. Then we've got bwytai si. You may have seen that before, bwytai si. I ate and a vice I drank. OK, so the I sees there should give you a clue that that I in the regular past tense verbs. We've also got I see. I played pale volley. I played volleyball on the beach. Uh, then we've got novi I see. Now you should be familiar with novio being swim. So novi I see. I swam. OK, and then we've got roidunin happy. So roid means was, but this time we've got roidunin. So this time it means I was happy. OK, roidunin happy. So I was happy. And the last one is one of the irregular verbs. So similar to AC. Um, doesn't have the IC at the end, but still means I. So KC, I had. OK, so I'll just run through those one more time with you. AC, I went. Roy the tower un, the weather was. Roy the it was. Boit I see, I ate. Av I see, I drank. Hwara I see, I played. Novi I see, I swam. Roy the nin happis, I was happy. A KC, I had. OK, so um, have a look at your work, see how many of those you got right. If there's any new ones, maybe pop them down and try and use them in your future work. OK, so I want you to have a look at this grid now, which is Ramser Gorfennol, the past tense. So on the left hand side, I've got the structures that we've just seen in that starter task. OK, so we've got AC, Roy the Tawithan, Roy the Heen, Boit I see, Av I see, Hwari I see, Novi I see, Roy the Neen and KC. I've also put, in case um, some of you are trying to challenge yourselves, I've also put the third person ones on the right hand side. So AC means I went. In the third person, we say Aith A for he went or Aith he for she went. OK, um, the second two, number two and three haven't got a third person. So um, let's have a look at this. We've got uh, the next one down is Buit I see, I ate, which in the third person turns to uh, boit of a or boit of he. Now, if you want to use third person plural, if you want to say they ate or they drank, you'd say boit on nu. OK, um, same thing again for of I see turns to of of a or of of he. Same for huare I see. So it's all about the endings with these uh, regular verbs. The endings change from I see to of a or of he if you want to change between first and third person. OK. So they are there for you to um, you can watch this video back and you can get some of those down and practice making sentences out of some of them um, if you would like. OK, so that's the past tense, which I'm sure you heard, you've heard of before. Um, and it's really, really important that if you are um, using your speaking exam, using your speaking skills in that exam, uh, that you try and get some of these in. So you could say, for example, AC, I went with any topic. You could say Roy Thien, it was with a variety of topics. Buit I see, if you're talking about healthy living, if you're talking about what you did on the weekend, if you're talking about what you ate in the school canteen, you can try and include Buit I see, Av I see, OK? Casey, I had a great time, I had a rubbish time. You can use them to get uh, Casey to give an opinion as well. OK, so they're there for you. Right, OK, using the past tense then, what I'd like us to do now is an exam skill, which is Kawir ne Ang Hawir. Kawir, true, ang hawir, false. OK, so we're going to quickly read this short piece and then we're going to say if the statements below are kawir ne ang hawir. So I'm going to read the piece aloud for you to hear the pronunciation and then we're going to decide if it is, uh, if the statements are kawir ne ang hawir. OK, so it says, Shamai, John Adui, and Miss Aust, ACUL Stereophonics and Stadima Principality and Hairti. Roedd y cyngerdd yn wych, can I see trwy'r nos. Fy hoff gan o'i thousand trees, ond doeddwn i ddim yn hoff iawn o'r pick a path as new. Dantiau si gyda fy mrawd a fy chwaer wrth gwrs. So, try and think about those structures now. What have we just said AC means? AC i weld, to see. OK, stereophonics, yn stadium y principality, yng Nghaer Dydd, Cardiff. Roy the Kanger than I told you Roy means was. OK, so was um, the Kanger is the concert was something. Can I see? You should know the verb can to sing. So what did we say I see was? 
past tense again. Vahov gan oiv. My favourite song was on doivuni them and hof yan. I wasn't fussed on this other song. Once again, dance, I see, I danced. Okay, so I'm going to give you um, a minute or two now to look at these four statements and based on that reading piece, tell me if they are kawir, ning ang hawir. Okay, so statement one says, Aith John i gunger stereophonics anur hav. So John went to a kanger to the concert anur hav. Think about what time of year the hav is, okay? And then see if in the text it matches up. Now, the way these tasks work usually, it won't say exactly the same words. So in this instance, the word hav is not in the text. However, there is a month mentioned in the text, and you need to figure out if that month would be part of the hav, okay? Then you've got Roy the Kanger and the Vlas. So once again, an opinion. Now the word the Vlas isn't in the text in this instance either, but you need to figure out whether or not um, the text is saying the opposite or whether the text is saying a similar word, but in a different way. So is the opinion about the concert, about the Kanger, positive, Kadenhal, ne negadol, negative, okay? A Hofgan, so that's written in the third person. Instead of the Hofgan, a Hofgan, so John's favourite song, is Pick a Papa's New. Is that Kawerne Anghawer? And the last one, Dance of John, Gadar Taili. John danced with the family, so you need to figure out whether it mentions members of the family or not. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute now. E, just a screen of just write down Kawerne Anghawer. So write down in Dai Tree Pedwar, a word in Kawerne Anghawer. True or false? Okay. Uh, um, a scrivan o'ch geire cymraeg, plîs, for cawyr neu anghywyr. Don't write true or false. Practice the spelling of your cawyr anghywyr. Okay? Right, in minute, off you go. And what's good about a task like this is even if you don't understand every word, we can use a skimming and scanning skill, can't we? We look for the key words in the questions, um, look for the key words in the text and try and figure out, are they the same opinion? Are they the opposite opinion? Are they de big similar or wahanol different? OK, right. Let's go through the atebion term. OK, I'm going to try atebion and galoi. Uh, yeah. Firstly, read E number one. I John e gunger stereophonics under have. John went to a stereophonics concert under have in the summer. Now, what you need to do here is look at the text and see what month is mentioned, and it is actually oust August. Does August class as the summer? Yes, it does. So that will be cover. Okay, correct. Uh, Roy the gunger and the vlas. The concert was boring. So once again, we're going to skim and scan the text. Look for Roy the Kunger and Wich is the sentence used in the text. Kunger and Wich, the concert was great. Now, does great and divlas, do they match? Are they similar words? No, they're not. So that one is Anghawir. Okay, a Hofgan. So this time in the text, you're looking for the Hofgan. What was John's favourite song? Was it Pick Apart That's New? No, it wasn't. It was Thousand Trees. So that one's Anghawir. And then dance of John, Gadar Taili. John danced with the family. Now, what does the text say? The text says it in the first person. So John talking about himself. I danced Gadavam Raud Avachwair with my brother and my sister. Are they part of his Taili family? Yes, they are. So Kawir. Okay, so Kawir, Anghawir, Anghawir, Kawir. Okay, Diane. Right, so. We briefly covered the past tense there. We've done some revision of the key structures there in the past tense. We're going to move on now. Ir amodo, the conditional tense. So this is a tense that you should be using um, quite consistently in your uh, speaking work, your reading work, your writing work. Um, and it is a tense that is under a condition. So something would happen or something could happen or we should be doing this or we would like to be doing this. OK. So we've got four stems at the top there and they're in different colours ready for you. So they stand out. So Hof is would like. 
Um, but we actually say it as hof in this instance, right? So hof uni. So we've got hof being would like, dull being should, gas being could, and bass being would. OK, so just be careful not to say that word as hof. Even though we say verhof, my favourite, when we're talking about the stem like this, we say it as hof. So I want you to repeat these after me. Hof, dull, gas, and bass. Now, if you ever want to say something would like, or something should, or something could, or something would, these are the very first words you need. What we then do is we add an ending, depending on who we want to be doing this action. OK, so you've got the endings in the grid there. So we've got only, which is the ending for I. So this is very different to English because in English we would say I would like, you would like, he would like. But in Welsh we say hof unni, ending the person comes at the end. Hof unni, hof e ti, hof i e, hof i he, hof e ni, we would like, hof e chi, you plural would like, and hof e nu, they would like, okay? So in Welsh, verb first, then the person that's doing it, okay? But it's exactly the same endings for all four of them. So dull is should. So daluni, I should. Daleti, you should. So if you learn these endings of the conditional tense, you can apply them to all four verbs. Okay, so you only have to learn one set of endings and you can have loads of different structures. So daluni, daleti, dalai e, dalai he, daleni, we should, dalechi, and dalenu. Now, you may think that you uh, can't learn them all, but if you are going to learn some, then I would learn the ending for I. I would learn the third person endings, um, we and they. OK, so once again, exactly the same process for the gas. Gas means could. Gas uni, gas eti, gas i e, gas i he, gas eni, gas echi, gas enu. And the same applies then to bas. So bas uni, I would. Bas eni. We would, basenu, they would. OK, so it's really important that we learn these endings and can apply them to the stem to be able to create structures in the conditional tense. Now, obviously, you're not going to stop there because with this, all you've got is the verb and who's doing it. OK, so you've got the I would like, I should, I could, I would. But then you obviously need to add extra details to create your sentences. OK, so keeping that, bear that in mind, and we're going to look at this grid that's in front of us now. So we've got four columns. OK, Pedwar Kolov and Venin. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick um, one, uh, one part from each section. So on the left hand side, we've got those stems again. We've got Hof being would like, Dull being should, Gas could and Bas would. Then in the yellow column, Anarine Melin, you've got the Persson. OK, so only was the ending for I, so hofuni would be I would like. Daluni, I should. Gasluni, I could. Basuni, I would. OK, the ending for he, which is I a. So once again, you can choose any of those options. Hof I a, he would like. Hof, uh, dal I a, he should. Gas I a, he could. Then you've got the ending for she, which is I he. Then you've got, if you want to say someone's name, so Hoff I John, John would like. Dull I John, um, John should. And then you've got the ending for we there at the bottom, any. OK, so Hoff any, we would like. Dull any, we should. Gas any, we could. Bas any, we would. OK, so you're going to pick one of the stem, one of the stem words, and then you're going to pick one of the endings. And then we're going to try and add the extra detail. So. Next column, we've got some verbs. So we've got a study or to study, vuita to eat, dansio to dance, novio to swim, vind to go, and guile to have. Now you may have noticed that these have already got a soft mutation, treglad mezal. Okay, so you do need a treglad mezal, a rol, hofuni, daluni, gasuni, basuni. Okay, you need a mutation after the conditional tense. And then the final column, then you've got your extra details. So, for example, I've put words that could go after a study or chemeg, bioleg, punkiai, subjects. Vuita, I've put words that could go with vuita. These are not the only options, they're just examples. So, fruithai, 
fruit or llai o fraster, less fat. Then you've got dancio, words that could go after dancio. Through your nose, heno, and a disco, through the night, heno, tonight, or an a disco, in the disco. Then you've got novio, and a post uh, in the pool, gada frindiai, with friends, or heithi, um, today. Vind, where could you go? Ir park, to the park. Adre, home. I abristwith, to abristwith. Then you've got words that could go with gael, so te, ti, asesiadai, assessments, or gwaith cartre, homework. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of examples, and then what I'd like you to do is I'd just like you to speak a couple of sentences. So, look at this word here, so hoffuni, I would like. So I could say hoffuni, so I've picked one from this column, one from this column, hoffuni astadio bioleg. I would like to study biology. Okay, this time I'm going to go for daluni. So this one should, I should, daluni, I should, voita, I should eat fruitai, I should eat fruit. Um, let's have a look at a different one. Daleni, we should, vind, we should go, ir park, we should go to the park. Okay, let's try hoffai John. John would like to dancia, dancia, and the disco. John would like to dance in the disco. So there are several options as well. There are verbs that are not on this list that you can use, but the important part here is that you make sure that um, to get your sentences right, to get the structures correct and accurate, that you're picking them from the right columns in the correct order. So the oren and ginta, wait in a melin, wait in a glass, wait in a gwyrdd and all that. Okay, so I'd like you now then to just, and to practice your pronunciation, I'd like you to speak. Um, I'd like you to do five sentences, pimp browsing, please. If you want to write them in the in the chat um, the chat box, then you can, so we can share our answers. Um, but just I just want you to practice speaking five sentences, please. So I will give you uh, do even it two minutes, and then we will move on. Okay. So do even it and dechre now, starting now. Okay. Off you go. Just remember as well, the best marks that you're going to get in your assessments, in your exams, are if you can show um, a variety in your work. So rather than just using hofuni every time, if you've used hofuni, then try daluni. Um, if you've used um, first person quite a bit, then try third person. That variety will make will, will show a wider understanding and will gain you more marks. OK, so the more details you can give, the better. And when you come to the the green section, just remember your, um, you know, your five W's. So, you know, what are you doing? When are you doing it? With who? Um, that sort of detail will also make your your sentences a lot more extended. OK, so in minutes, still got one minute. So keep going with translating and creating some of these sentences. OK. OK, right. I'm going to give you a couple of sentences now. Let's let's test your understanding. Um, so if you've got a pen and paper in front of you, see um, how many of these you can translate. OK, so I'm going to choose one thing from each column, like I've just given you the task of doing. And I'm seeing if you can translate these sentences uh, into Saisneg, into English. Yeah, right. Bantanita. So the first one. Hoffeni. Uh, Novio, anabul gadafrindia. So I'll say that again. Hofeni, novio, anabul gadafrindia. Okay, uh, next one. Um, Daluni, astadio, pankiai, didorol. Ooh, I put an adjective in there. Pankiai didorol, interesting subject. So, daluni astadio pankiai didorol. Okay, reef tree. Gallai e, gallai e, so think about the ending for i e, who's that? Gallai e, uh, vind i abrastrith. Oh, I'll chuck in ar penoithnos. 
gallai e fynd i abrystwydd ar y penwythnos. Ok? And the last one. Um, let's go with Hoff, Hoffai Tom, Vuita, Lai of Raster, less fat. Hoffai Tom, Vuita, Lai of Raster. Okay. Diane, hopefully you got one or two of those. Um, with obviously the main part being the first two columns and obviously the details can change on the rest. OK, so so far we've had a look at the Gorfenno, the past tense. We've just had a look now at how to form sentences in Uram mode or the conditional tense by paying focus um, to paying um, close focus to Hoffuni, uh, Deluni, Gathuni, Basuni. Um, you have also got negatives of those, which you can just put them in and make sure you've got a tree glad made that. Um, but now we're going to move on to the future tense. OK, now what is going to make a really good, successful uh, piece of work or answer is if you can try and include a variety of all three tenses. So you will very often talk in the present tense anyway. So if you can show a good understanding of the past tense, conditional tense and future tense, then you're really, really stretching yourself. OK, so the future tense is quite self-explanatory where we're talking about something that will be happening. OK. Um, so we've got the positive on the left hand side and we've got the negative on the right hand side. Now I'll have a quick scan of them and you will see um, there is a few differences between the positive and the negative. The main difference being that um, the negative starts with an F. That is just a mutation, a soft mutation from a B to an F in the negative. And you've also got them un, whereas you've got the apostrophe N on the left hand side. OK, so that's the main difference between the positive and the negative. So we're going to practice saying them so that you can hear the pronunciation to make sure you get these um, correct yourself. So we'll go down the positive column first and then we will go on to the negative. OK, so after me, I'd like you to practice saying them. We've got Badain, Badidin, in. So notice how that changes slightly. Badhin, Badtumun, Badunin. Badukhin, badanun. OK, try those one more time. Badain, badidin, bidin, bidhin, bidtumun, badunin, badukhin, badanun. OK, that's the positive. So badain, I will be or I will. Badidin, you will be or you will. Bidin, he will be. Bidhin, she will be. Bidtumun, Tom will be. Badunin, we will be, Badukhin, you will be, and Badanun, they will be. Now, you may not remember all of these, so just try and remember um, first person singular and plural, so the I and the we and third person would be beneficial for you as well. OK, let's go down the negative side now then. So we've got Vadai them an. So instead of Badain, Vadai them an. Same pronunciation but with that v sound at the start, OK? I will not be. Vadidi them an, you will not be. Vid e them an, he will not be. Vid he them an, she will not be. Vid tum them an, tum will not be. Vaduni them an, we will not be. Vaduchi them an, you will not be, but the plural version. And vadanu them an, they will not be. OK, so those are your future tense uh, structures. And obviously now you can add extra information to these to create sentences. So, for example, you could say, but that in a study I will be studying. But then we will be happy. But then they will be going. But that is the man of you. I will not be swimming. But then them and we will not be doing homework tonight. We tum, them and Gwilior Pale Droid are a lady. Tum will not be watching football on the television. OK, so it's the same sort of structure as the conditional. Imagine you've got those four boxes this time, but this time you're on future tense instead of conditional tense. OK, so. 
we've got them on the right hand side there for you so you haven't got to worry if you can't remember all of them we've got them there positive at the top negative at the bottom and i would like you to have a go at this task okay so you've got two options option e and the option die option e in a the active question okay so mind wait a table answer believe the dean mind pen with us this up where will you be going next weekend so i want you to answer this question in the future tense i don't want you to use doing mind i want you to use bother in or be the friend and mind or bother noon mind or even the negative bother e them and mind um i still want you to try and include idioms in your work connectives in your work a uh, third person in your work if you can but i want you to use the structures on the right hand side to practice those if you would rather we've got option die the second option which is to translate kavithuch adam so i'd like you to translate the following i will be going to the party on friday night there will be food and drink now if you want to say there will be you just say be on its own b y d d be okay so there will be food and drink and the party will start now if you want to say the party will start you just use that word be again be the party and dechrai okay this that party will start we will not be wearing fancy dress but we will be dressing smart now smart in welsh is just smart fancy dress in welsh gwisg fancy okay so it's up to you either do the green the gwyrdd or the melin um uh, if you do uh, one really quickly then you could always try the other one if you're doing the yellow it's really good because in your written paper you will have a translation question where you'll have to translate from Saisnek i Gymraeg. So it's really important that you've got a good sound knowledge of your tenses so that you can um, complete these tasks easier. And sometimes with a translation task, it will go from present tense to future tense. So you need to know the difference, okay? Doin means I am, that's present tense. Bazain, I will be future tense. The same with one of the key key words here. Achos mine means because it's. That's present tense. If you want to say it was, you say achos roiv. If you want to say it will be, you say achos bidhin. Okay, so it's important that you know the difference between these tenses. So uh, I'm going to give you uh, three minutes now. You need to task on. So three minutes to do this task. So um, either do the gwyrdd or the mail-in and then we'll go through the answers. We'll go through some examples and then to finish off, we'll have a look at some sentences and you can tell me uh, which tense they're in. Are they in the past? Are they in the conditional? Or are they in the future? OK, so three minutes, three minutes starting now. Bantach chi, off you go. Just remember as well, use the grids on the right hand side. OK, they're there to help you. Um, so use those and use your knowledge, your prior knowledge of other verbs and see how much detail you can put in your work. Like I said, these um, tenses are going to be useful for you in any answer that you write. So the more confident you are with them, the better. OK, any questions as well? Please don't forget we have the, um, the chat box that you can use. Uh, the chat function that you can use to ask any questions okay so do even it two minutes left and then we'll go through some examples OK, right. Let's go through um, an example for option E in tab. Where will you be going 
uh, next weekend. So you could start it with an idiom, something maybe like to be honest. So I bought an honest, um, but that in mind your park. I will be going to the park. Right. Try and add details of that. Good up, boy. Who are you going with? Oh, um, but that in mind your park. Good up, friend. OK, I'll be going to the park with my friends. Um, let's try and add a little bit more detail. Preed, when? Oh, OK, so I'll rewrite the sentence again. I bought an honest, but I mind your park. Good up, friend. Are the Saturn on Saturday? OK, let's put a full stop there and let's be thinking now. What are me and my friend? What am I me and my friends going to do in the park? OK, um, in the park, but we will be playing um, peer droid. Um, why will we be playing football? Achos, uh, dully ar peel droid. We love football. So you could give a reason in there as well. OK, you could say something like our role a park after the park, um, but the noon mind your dre. They will be going to town, e shopper. OK, or they'll be going for food. So you can use more than one structure in an answer like this, but always try and think ble, preed, gadapoi, pam, bath. OK. Let's have a look at option die with in number two, uh, option die, uh, option two. So I will be going to the party on Friday night. So buzza in, I will be mindir party. Ar um, nos winner. Remember that word nos causes a soft mutation. Ar nos winner. There will be food and drink. So beef, and then you've got to look at the word for food. Beef, boid. Okay, we know that and is ah. So beef, boid, ah. Diod. Now be careful not to mix this up with boita and aved. Okay, boid is food, diod is drink, they are the nouns. Boita and aved are the verbs. And the party will start. So a be the party, be the party, the party will. And dechrai start am saith or gloch, seven o'clock. We will not be wearing fancy dress. So look at the right hand side there. Vadhuni them and we will not be wearing. Gwisco. So for the new them and gwisco, gwisc fancy. We won't be wearing fancy dress. What's but? Let's have a think. We know that connective but. Ond. We will be dressing smart. But the new gwisco smart. OK, so mixture there between the positive and the negative and obviously including extra vocabulary in between. OK, so see how you got on with that. Right, so. E or fenter task all as you get any he not. OK, we've got a couple of sentences on the board on the screen in front of you. Um, they are all a mixture of the tenses we've covered today. So some of them are conditional tense. Some of them are future tense. Some of them are past tense. What I'd like you to do. Um, so you could do three columns here. You could do three column. You could have got fennel past tense. Um, a modal conditional tense and devoid or future tense, and you could write or you could think about which column these would belong to. OK, I'm going to read them to you and then I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to decide um, where they should go. If you want to try and push yourself, then you can categorize them and then actually translate them into English. As you never know, you may be able to use some of these exact sentences in your own work or at least um, use them as inspiration to create your own sentences. OK. So the first sentence we've got is Hoffuni wind i gair dydd. OK, I'm not going to tell you what it means because that will help you out too much. So think about what Hoffuni is, OK? Bwytai si creision ddo. Bydda i'n mynd i'r cinema gyda fy ffrindiau. Dylen i fwyta ffrwythau bob dydd. Hoffen i siarad sbaineg yn rhygl. Bydda i'n mynd i'r cinema gyda fy ffrindiau. O bydda i'n mynd i'r sioi gyda fy ffrindiau. Fydd e ddim yn hapus gyda'r canlyniad. And the last one, hoffai fy ffrind a stydio drama yn y coleg. OK, so I'm going to give you un munud naw yn gloi. Um, a wedyn, awn ni trwy yr atebion. And then we'll go through the answers and you can decide and see if you get them right. Are they the gorffennol? Past tense. Are they the amodol? Your conditionals, your woulds, your shoulds, your would like to. Or are they your future tense? Your will or will not be. OK, right. E minute and dechra now. Bant achi.
OK, right, let's go through them then and you can double check your answers. Barod, so hoffwni fynd i gaerdydd, hoffwni. I would like to go to Cardiff. So that should have been put in the conditional tense, OK? Hoffwni, I would like. Bwytai si creision, I ate. Remember I told you that ending I see means I in the past tense with regular verbs. So if you ever see I see, you should straight away think I know that's past tense. So bwytai si creision. Uh, past tense, your gorfennol. But that in Mindir cinema, but that in I will be going to the cinema. So that should have gone in the dove or doll, the future column. OK, Deleni voita fruit I bob deed. Deleni, we should eat fruit every day. So that is one of your am models, your conditionals, right? We should be eating it every day. Hoffeni Sharad Spineck and Rigal. We would like to speak Spanish fluently. So once again, same column as the last one, conditional, am modal, we would like, we should, okay? Uh, the next one I changed to, but that in Mendir Shoy, I will be going to the show with my friends. So I will be going, but that in future tense. The next one, vid e them and happes, vid e them. So similar to but that in, vid, but vid e them, he will not be happy with the result. So devo dal future. And the last one, Hoff I have a friend. Now, similar to Hoffuni, but this time third person. My friend would like to study drama in college. So that was your am modal, your conditional tense as well. OK, so um, hopefully you can mark your work there and see how many you got correct and see if you got them in the correct column. If you didn't, um, don't worry, you can have you can have a look back at this video and you can see go through the tenses again or maybe the one you were uncertain of and you can then practice these again and see if you improve on your work. OK, um, so dyna ni am heddi. Diolch yn fawr iawn am, am un o ni yn session 3. Um, I really hope that you found this session worthwhile. And don't forget, you can watch the video again. Um, you can pause it. You can have another go at the tasks. Um, you could do it again in a couple of weeks time and see if um, you want your understanding has improved. Um, and obviously you can use some of these ideas that we've discussed today to help you in your work and your exams. OK, so diolch yn fawr iawn, um, hwyl fawr am y tro a cofiwch bod sesiwn pedwar